Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Universal norms established by Allah as shown in the glorious Quran. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds, who says in his ever glorious book, You will find no change in Allah's practices. I bear witnesses that there is no God but Allah and that Muhammad is a servant and messenger. May Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, his household, companions, and upon those who follow their path to the Day of Judgment. The Almighty Allah has established the universe according to fixed norms and laws that do not change. When reviewing the glorious Quran, one finds it speaking about Allah's universal norms and His lasting laws that control the movement of creatures in integration and harmony without any imbalance or disturbance. The Almighty Allah says, You will never find any change in Allah's practice. You will never find any deviation there. Allah's universal norms are general and comprehensive. They apply to everyone without distinction or exception. Allah the Almighty has made reward commensurate with the action. He glory be to him, says, Anyone who does wrong will be requited for it and will find no one to protect or help him against Allah. Anyone, male or female, who does good deeds and is a believer will enter paradise and will not be wronged by as much as the dip in a date stone. Our Prophet, peace be upon him, said, He who removes from a believer one of his difficulties of this world, Allah will remove one of his troubles on the day of resurrection. And he who finds relief for a hard-pressed, indebted person, Allah will make things easy for him on the day of resurrection. He who covers up the faults of and sins of a Muslim, Allah will cover up his faults and sins in this world and in the hereafter. Allah supports his slave as long as the slave is supportive of his brother. The Prophet, peace be upon him, also said, He who likes Allah to deliver him from the calamities of the day of resurrection, let him either give respite to a debtor or grant him remission of loans in straitened circumstances. Among the norms of Allah in this universe is that poverty and richness do not perpetuate. A rich man of today may be a poor one tomorrow, and vice versa. The Almighty Allah says, We alternate such days among people in turn. So the rich people should thank Allah for his graces and the poor ones should work hard and strive to change their conditions. A believer in all circumstances has to be firm in his surrender to Allah. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, How wonderful is the case of a believer. There is good for him in everything and this is applies only to a believer. If prosperity attends him, he expresses gratitude to Allah, and that is good for him. And if adversity befalls him, he endures it patiently, and that is better for him. Among these norms are that people are subject to hardships and tests in order to verify their faith. Allah, glory be to him, said, Do people think they will be left alone after saying, We believe, without being put to the test? We tested those who went before them. Allah will certainly make out which ones are truthful and which are lying. Allah also said, Do you think you would enter paradise without Allah's first, without Allah first proving which of you would struggle for his cause and remain steadfast? Allah also said, Do you suppose that you will enter paradise without first having suffered like those before you? They were afflicted by misfortune and hardship, and they were so shaken that even their messenger and the believers with him cried, When will Allah's help arrive? Truly, Allah's help is near. Allah chooses from among his servants those whom he wishes to bless them. Allah said, Allah knows best where to place his messages. Allah also said, Allah chooses messengers from among the angels and from among men. Allah is all-hearing, all-seeing. 
In another verse, Allah said, They said, Why was this Quran not sent down to a distinguished man from either of the two cities? Are they the ones who share out your Lord's grace? We are the ones who give them their share of livelihood in this world. And we have raised some of them above others in rank, so that some may take others into service. Your Lord's grace is better than anything they accumulate. In the story of the Prophet Musa and his journey with his servant to the righteous man, Allah said, They found one of our servants, a man to whom we had granted our mercy and whom we had given knowledge of our own. Moses said to him, May I follow you so that you can teach me some of the right guidance you have been taught. So do not struggle against anyone for something Allah has blessed him with, because you will not prevent it. Similarly, no one can prevent a blessing that Allah has willed to provide you. Allah the Almighty says, No one can withhold the blessing Allah opens up for people, nor can anyone but him release whatever he withholds. He is the Almighty, the All-Wise. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Remember that if all the people gather to benefit you, they will not be able to benefit you except that which Allah had ordained for you. And if all of them gather to do harm to you, they will not be able to afflict you with anything other than that which Allah had predestined against you, the pens had been lifted and the ink had dried up. Also among the norms said by Allah in the universe is that consequences follow causes regardless of people's faith, race, or color. The one who plants shall get crops, and he who strives shall succeed. The Almighty Allah said, We do not let the reward of anyone who does a good deed go to waste. All praise is due to Allah, Lord of the worlds. May Allah's peace and blessings be upon Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, his companions and followers. Among the universal norms that Allah set in this world is that he who follows the path of Allah and seeks to please him, Allah will bless him with good life in this world and a paradise in the hereafter. Allah said, Allah says, there will be no fear for those who follow my guidance, nor will they grieve. Allah also said to whoever, male or female, does good deeds and has faith, we shall give a good life and reward them according to the best of their actions. On the other hand, Allah says about those who refuse to follow his path, whoever follows my guidance, when it comes to you people, will not go astray nor fall into misery, but whoever turns away from it will have a life of great hardship. We shall bring him blind to the assembly on the day of resurrection, and he will say, Lord, why did you bring me here blind? I was sighted. I was sighted before. Allah will say, this is how it is. You ignored our revelations when they came to you, so today you will be ignored. We ask Allah to protect our country Egypt and raise its flag high among all countries of the world.